Hey, Tubi people, back at home. It's, uh... Okay. Been a couple hours since I dropped that last video. Uh... On the way down to the park, there was some old blonde meth whore. I don't know if I mentioned this, uh pushing a shopping cart down the middle of the slow lane of 99 blocking traffic and people had to go around her. I did not stop for her. I seen her pushing that shopping cart down the middle of the fucking slow lane and I'm going fuck. No. And then I looked in my mirror on the way by and ah oh, fuck I'm keeping going. I'm not even gonna stop. And she didn't even acknowledge me which was even better and I Went down to the park and uh, found out that I'm even stupider than I thought I was. I texted Rhonda, told her, you know, if you want to talk, well. Then uh, after sitting there for an hour, I sent her an email explaining things I wanted to say to her. And uh, that took another hour. And I feel like a really, really stupid man right now. But I like this woman. I see something there worth saving. Uh, a friendship, relationship worth salvaging. I mean, fuck, we click on every level. And it's really fucking stupid for a misunderstanding between the two of us and me probably being my usual dickhead self. Uh, to, uh fuck up something we were better together than we are apart we made a good team we both contributed what we had to the process uh, I had a little more to contribute you know and uh, we both brought value to the friendship I mean shit there was nights we were sitting there with rolling papers rolling up cigarette butts for cigarettes I had the tobacco, no, I had the tobacco, she had the papers, okay? And it was funny, I was out of papers, but... You know, we were good for each other. I kept her fed and safe up here, and uh, she made me smile and feel good about being a uh, beat-down, dying old man, you know? I'm supposed to be dead already. I'm kind of wondering about this. So... I mean, we got so many damn goofy fucking things. I mean, the cat introduced us. The cat jumped out the window, went running over the tree, played on the tree for a bit, then run over to her. And that's how we met. I probably told that story about too many fucking times. And, you know, we started running into each other and then started hanging out with each other and found that, uh, that we fucking clicked on damn near every fucking level. I don't know anything we had a disagreement about. Uh, I even... She did little things that got to me right here. Continuously. Hell, I even loved the hell out of her when she was having one of her ornery, bitchy, cranky, on the rag days. And those were fun, even. <coughs> I mean, she may have been bitchy and crampy, but at least we were having fun, doing something. But I'm feeling like a real stupid old man right now. Uh, this shit doesn't get any fucking easier. You know, I swallowed my pride, dug around, found my spine, snapped it back into place. Found my nutsack under the table, strapped that back on, manned up, drink down a can of man 
was going to admit it, yes. Fifty percent of it is me being a dickhead. Maybe even seventy-five percent. We could go as far as ninety, but you know, that's me. Really, really feeling stupid about this. I mean, she could at least drove by and waved and laughed at me. For a while there, I was concerned she might have like six guys with her show up to beat my ass. It's happened. It doesn't happen much as much as it used to. Uh, once they know uh, about the Remington. Don't know why. Oh, yeah, because I will shoot a motherfucker. Yes. Oh, fuck. Really feeling stupid. Did I mention I'm feeling stupid? Lit up one of these things by the filter end coming down the highway. Wasn't too happy with myself. That's how fucking distracted this shit's making me. I gotta get back on course. Cat's out sitting on the hood of the truck. She's disappointed she didn't get to see Mama. Because she knew why we were at the park. She knows that's where Daddy and Mama used to meet. Yes, I know you're only the cat's friend. No, you're the cat's mama, woman. Crazy fucking red witch. Really feeling stupid. Well, I'm going to go suck some gas out of the truck, throw it in the generator, get shit fired up, get the house warmed up, warm up the lasagna. Think there's still some salad left, throw in another couple Dutch crunch rolls, and uh, have leftover lasagna for dinner. One of the hardest things about this is learning to cook for one again. Because I always cook for two. She don't know what good meals she's been missing. And since I decided to sober up again, that 30 days fucking on and off drunk was not a good thing for me. I'm getting too old for that shit. You'd think that I'd learn after all these failed relationships not to crawl into the fucking bottle again. Got out of that in my 30s, but... Ugh. No, I didn't go drinking when Sherilyn left. Sure the fuck got drunk when Jeanette left. Bought a fishing pole, said fuck it, I'm going fishing. Uh, this fucker's plugged in, so it's going to make a noise when I unplug it. Yep, it did. But over there somewhere, I think I got a fishing pole or two still hanging. No, I got one in the back of the truck. Ah, because what was my solution to everything before all this shit? Fucking, I'm going fishing. I mean, that's why I got the boat and the other boat over in there. There's the cat on the truck. 
in the Livingston, if you can see it in the mirror. I uh, probably can't see it in the mirror, but it's back there behind the truck. I mean, ah, that was my answer to everything. I'm going fishing. What the fuck did I get distracted f with that? $65 for a fishing license, and I only went fishing a couple times this year. Oh, yeah. I met a red-headed witch uh, when salmon season opened, and I went and played with her instead of... Uh, going fishing. What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> oh, that's okay. Pinks are running this coming year, and uh, it's always better fishing when the pinks are running. That's enough of that.